So what made you decide that it was time to uh, to go for a pet? Yeah, I think that. I mean, I think we've been wanting a pet. More specifically, we wanted a dog for a couple of years, but just, you know, ups and downs. Um, didn't allow us to get one. And then we've been looking at cats because we had friends who've had cats and they have nothing but good things to say about cats too. And we're like, oh, we've never thought about getting a cat. And then, you know, Quarantine happened, lockdown happened, and Anish is the one who suggested we start looking at websites and things like that. And then yeah, he's just, just like, what are we lucky. waiting for? Let's just apply. Yeah. <laughs> you know? We got lucky, we just got yeah. a kitten. So we're looking for a couple of cats. The only thing that we were worried about was could we go in and get an adult cat or should we get a kitten? Yeah. We did apply for a lot of adult cats because we did read about them a bit. But then we just got lucky because these guys just came to you maybe two days ago and we'd apply for them, so yeah. yeah. And uh, it was a foster to adopt program, so that was the best way we could test waters with her. We had her for like two months before we officially adopted her. So that, that was a good good uh, program that you guys had, I yeah, would say, for sure. sure. What were the challenges for you guys, you know, for first time pet owners? Uh, things that you had to learn or, or figure out? The first, the very first thing that we were scared of owning a cat was how would we cut her nails? You know, that was one of the first fear <laughs> yeah, we, we had. Yeah, we saw but, so many videos on YouTube and true. we followed this guy called Cat Daddy or something. <laughs> and then we, I don't know, we just, everything was first time with a pet ever. Like, we didn't even grow up with pets, which yeah. is super different from other people who probably have known pets all their lives. But and in case of challenges, if you ask with what in person to the adoption, then uh, fortunately we didn't have a lot of issues. It was a very seamless process that you guys had. We could come in, we had a meet and greet which was in a separate room. We met the pet over there. Yeah, it was then the next safe. day, I mean then we adopted her that day itself. Even when we would come down for her shots, we would leave her outside on the curb and then one of your guys would come in, pick her up. So. It was like we were speaking some while ago, the new normal, maybe that's what it is. So uh -huh. that was really handled well by you guys. And of course, uh, how did you manage to get this wild one to be okay with being on a leash that is absolutely not common? Uh, so what we read a lot first about because Cats on a leash is something that's not seen often. So we did want her to have her leash, like something she associates positively with. So we let her wear the leash a couple of times, just the uh, harness in the house, roam around. It was a bit difficult initially. She would try fighting it off. Yeah, she kept falling. She kept thinking there's something on her, something holding her, choking her. Yeah. And we, well, while we found it super funny and cute, she probably hated it, but she got used to it. We tried walking her in, a, in the hallways. She got used to that. She would hear sounds of like people arguing in their houses or whatever, <laughs> like the, the elevator door opening and closing. She got used to the sounds and then people, and then we took her down. And she would only come up till that tiny little spot right outside the building and then slowly it was like step by step so a lot of patience yeah, required a lot of positive reinforcement and also we got super lucky with Suki who's the calmest kitten like I've ever met or the calmest cat I've and I, met. I think one more trick that works with harnesses is just make them wear it 15-20 minutes prior to their feed food time oh. so that way when you get the bowl of food out there as it is excited to eat food it makes them feel comfortable associating with the leash harness and the food at the same time which looks as if it's a positive reinforcement going on so that's something that I think worked out we would just leave the leash in the hallway in our lobby area so she could just walk it walk around smell with it get used to it so yeah that's that's one of the first few steps we took 
And how about uh, other people's reactions to seeing her on a leash? I How's mean, like, I don't know if Pooja has mentioned this before, but they call her the pup cat whenever they see her walk outside. <laughs> so I've uh, heard comments from cute puppy to pup cat and yeah. what. <laughs> Yeah, so. but they're definitely surprised, like mildly surprised. They'll assume it's a puppy and then they look at her and they'll be like, oh, that's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's, uh, I've got a lot of friends who have cats who said that now they've seen everything in their lives. <laughs> so, which is obviously and, shocking for them. And a couple of friends who did try getting their yeah. cats on the harness, yeah. but that went some really of, bad. Yeah, some of them didn't go well. But yeah, but, funny yeah. stories. Great. Well, thank you guys so much. Oh, Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you for giving us this wonderful addition to our family. Absolutely. Appreciate yeah. it.